Hello everyone. Today I wanted to deviate slightly from my usual stuff and review a new YouTube feature that is being provided, which is apparently called InMind Playback. There's currently very little information about this feature apart from guides on how to turn it off. So I'm going to test it out, give my honest thoughts, and recommend any changes I believe would make it better. So let's start with what this feature does. InLine Playback works exclusively on the YouTube homepage, and it makes it so that whenever you have your cursor over a video, that video will pop out slightly and automatically start playing the entire video, regardless of its length. The pop out will close if you ever move your cursor off it, meaning you'll have to start all over again. It won't remember your place. By default, if these videos have subtitles available, the playback will automatically show them. And this is important because inline playbacks don't have sound. Now, according to this one support thread I found, a community manager stated that previews won't play audio if they are longer than 40 seconds. However, I found in testing this is not the case. The videos will not play audio regardless of their length. I'm not sure if they're just mistaken or the feature is broken. We might have to see in future. For an average user, this is probably where your exploration of the feature ends and you just search up how to turn it off. However, if you were to dig a bit further, you'd find some interesting interactions. First is that while moving off an inline playback will make you lose your place in the video, if you were to open the video page after doing so, it will remember your current place there. If you open it with a right click though, it will start you at the beginning. Not sure why the difference matters, must just be how it's programmed. Next is that while you can't interact with the video by clicking on it since you'll just get taken to its page, you can still interact with it using the shortcut keys, and almost all of them will work. This includes full screen, which ends up looking really weird. Furthermore, these inputs can also trigger a glitch. If you press the mute key, M, while in the playback, it can briefly play moments of audio from the source video. It is much more noticeable if you hold it and it just spams it over and over and over. You know what this means, right? It means that the feature is entirely capable of playing the full audio from the video, but YouTube chose not to let it do so. I get the idea of starting it muted because you can easily just start something by accident, but why not give the option for audio if we want it? Just let us press the button, unmute it, boom, done. So easy. And to make matters worse, here's another glitch. This one involving full screen. So what you do, you just take a video, get the thing, full screen, click on it, I pause, you don't have to, but full screen again, and then just alt tab, you don't even need any other thing open, then go out of full screen, and you've messed up the entire thing. And there is no way to fix it other than opening YouTube in a new tab. Fantastic work, guys. Anyway. You probably know already that inline playback isn't the only way to watch videos from the homepage. We also have the mini player. So what happens if you try to use both at once? Answer, you can't open inline playback with the mini player active. You just get the usual three second preview instead. These two features share another similarity in that they will not work for certain videos. If you try hovering over a video marked as made for kids, you'll get a message saying playback unavailable and the playback won't start. This message also shows up for age restricted videos when using an underaged account. Please do not ask how I tested this, you do not want to know. Here's the most important question of all. Does watching a video this way add to its view count? Thankfully, the answer is yes, as I could see this being very harmful to creators specializing in short videos otherwise especially if the 40 second audio thing is supposed to work as the person said. So after all things considered, is this a good feature? Not in the slightest. The reality is the inline playback is just the YouTube mini player, but worse in every single way. The only thing it does better is that it can be opened directly from the homepage. In fact, why didn't they just add an open and mini player option to the homepage instead of wasting their time on an inferior feature that most people seem to think is obnoxious? Like, 
Really? Thankfully, unlike the other YouTube changes you might not like, it's currently possible to disable this feature. Just go to settings, go to playback and performance, and turn off the feature completely. Just seems like another change simply for the sake of change. And that's just part of what's killing the website. Good job. Gotta say though, this review was quite a bit of fun. Let me know if you'd want to see more feature reviews, especially if you want to see something specific. That'll be all for this video, so thanks for watching and have a nice day and night.